So uh, slipping into a, another question here, you know, gosh, uh, and, and this one, I'm really interested to see what you have to say, uh, mainly because I feel like I'm struggling with this as much as everybody else is, which is we have all these technology platforms. Things are constantly changing, uh, you know, and so, you know, we have an internal IT staff, we have development staff, we have all these folks. And so, you know, what do you think the best use of internal staff to keep them up to date and effective on the things that are going on out there? I mean, you've already touched on some of these items earlier, but, uh, you know, and not to beat a dead horse, but what do you think are these things that we can do in order to keep staff up to date, effective, doing what they need to do on their side? Yeah, and I, it, 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 like you said, not to beat a dead horse, but it, to me, it's crystal clear. Um, your internal IT resources are best used to drive efficiency in the organization. And by that, I mean you know, working within your critical li uh, line of business applications to improve efficiency, improve your provider's experience, pr uh, improve the patient experience, and, and, and de de driving innovation and developing new technologies that are going to help the business. Again, aligning those with your clinic. Um, yeah, and to me, that's less emphasis on the blinking lights. Mm -hmm. And, you know, do you, the, how often does, a, does an IT person have to get called in the middle of the night to go flip out a hard disk or things like that? But just to kind of, you know, off outsource or, or, or de-emphasize your staff's role in the day-to-day -day infrastructure stuff. And really focus in, if you're a centricity shop, how can I make this the most effective application of centricity that exists? If you're a next-gen shop, same. And then working, you know, one of, it's funny because, you know, one of the biggest barriers I have in working with customers and working with, with, with new IT partners is how busy they are. I'm just, I'm too behind on projects and I'm too busy. Well, why are you behind on projects? You know, what's, what's, what's driving that? And then to basically get rid of some of that noise, mm. outsource some of that noise so they can be working on completing impactful projects and driving that efficiency. Um, you, know, le you know, less worried about failed hard drives, uh, inadequate power supplies, oh shoot, my cooling system went out. You know, mm. remove those burdens, remove those hurdles and stress points and really drive business productivity mm. and, and clinic mm. workflow. Yeah. Yeah, great advice. Hey, so uh, I, you know that's that's the questions I have. Uh, by the way, great job. Uh, you know, this is uh, it's always insightful to have a conversation with you. And I think I said this earlier, but every time I talk to you, I feel a little smarter. Uh, I feel like I got a little extra out of it. Uh, so I do appreciate that. Uh, and I know that again, you've you've got a lot of stuff on your plate. But again, just wanted to really extend my thank you uh, for your time and your energy. Well, Patrick, it's always a pleasure and appreciate you giving me the opportunity to say my piece. <laughs> no problem. So ping pong, you and I. Soon. Oh, my gosh. You don't even know what you're in for. <laughs> yeah, yeah left-handed just to warm you up Oh, a I love that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. Well, cool, man. Again, really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, hey, thanks, folks, for, uh, you know, sort of tuning in to Meridius U. And uh, this is, you know, we're on to, the, on to the next, but this was a great one. And I really appreciate you watching. Thanks. Thank you.